Let's do a problem where we look at using the formulae for addition of velocities in special relativity. Some time ago, we considered an example experiment where a set of pions was produced in a beam, and the pion decays to a pair of particles called photons, the carriers of light. Light, of course, travels at speed c, and if the pion can be made to be move, moving in the lab at speed approximately c, we can ask what will be the speed of the photons as seen by an observer in the lab watching the pions fly by. Let's define a frame S prime in which the pion is at rest. In this frame, the pion decays with two photons that are go back to back because momentum is conserved. If the pion was initially at rest, then the two photons have to have a net momentum of zero. And we'll say that they each have a speed u prime which is equal to c in the opposite directions from one another. In the lab frame, the, in this experiment, the pions had a momentum of approximately 6 GeV over c, and so a speed very near the speed of light. They traveled down this picture before decaying to a pair of photons. We need to take the photon speed u prime, which was c, and express them in the lab frame. Using our formulae, we remember that u along the direction of the, the boost or the transformation is equal to u prime plus v over 1 plus v ux prime plus over c squared. Here v is the speed of the pion and ux prime was the speed of the photon as seen in the center momentum frame. Both of those things in the numerator are c and in the product in the denominator it's c squared. As a result, we have 2c over 2, or just c. In other words, the photons in the lab frame will once again have speed c, even though that's what was observed in the center momentum frame, which is not surprising because it is just consistent with Einstein's first postulate that all observers in all frames will report c for the speed of light.